There are many elements that make up corporate social responsibility. There's no pinnacle to reach. It's a constantly moving target with room for continuous improvement. But the essence of CSR is doing the right thing. You can't stand still in this business because society and the world is, is changing every day. So it's not a matter of what you did yesterday for me, it's what are you going to do for me today. But there has to be a starting point. When Ross Gallinger joined IM Gold five years ago, they were transitioning from an exploration company to an operator. IM Gold is now a leading mid-tier gold mining company, producing about one million ounces annually from eight gold mines on three continents. So when I came through the door, we didn't have an environmental policy, we didn't have a sustainability policy, we didn't have a health and safety policy, and there were no resources at the corporate level dealing with the issues of health, safety, and sustainability. In just five years, IM Gold has gone from a company with no CSR policy to one of the top companies on the Globe and Mail's ranking of environmental, social, and governance performance. IM Gold is the top extractive company in this ranking. So we started really with a risk management approach to it because we, we want the sites to really identify what are the things that uh, will keep me up at night and keep the rest of the company up at night, but what are the things that are really going to affect those operations from a health, safety, and sustainability point of view. A program called Zero Harm is IM Gold's vision for maintaining the highest standards in human health, minimizing its impact on the environment, and working cooperatively with its host communities. We have over a million hours worked, and that includes both contractors, uh, drillers, as well as our own employees. Um, and to date, uh, in, in, two, in 2010, I think we've had five uh, incidents that were either medical aids or modified duties, no lost time accidents associated with our operations worldwide. I am Gold's Kimsakocha project in Ecuador is just one of the examples of the company's successful environmental programs. When you go up there today and look around in terms of the, the amount of drilling that's been done, you can't see any effect in the area. Um, every time they've uh, done a drill, uh, drill pad, they've gone back and reclaimed it immediately after the drill was, was removed. Um, a lot of the material, because it's a sensitive watershed area, um, a lot of material was packed in by hand and by foot. Uh, there weren't a lot of roads established to that site. So it's quite interesting to go up into that area right now and look at uh, the amount of exploration that was done and say, I can't even see that we've been here. This project is just one example of the company's social responsibility policies in action. And we've really focused on uh, agricultural improvements, uh, working with women and developing new business aspects there, education and health aspects as well. There's a bread making business and there's a preserve business uh, of making jams, etc. in the site. The goal is to leave a lasting positive legacy in the community long after operations have ceased. I Am Gold has accomplished that in Tanzania. One of the areas of need was water. The company worked with the community to build wells. We established uh, eight wells in and around the area that, uh, that my understanding today are still well functioning and, uh, and basically owned by the community. And, a couple of those communities are, are charging user fees that they're reinvesting in other projects as a consequence of that. So that's the beauty if you can get a sustainability project is you start that and it, it starts the wheel moving for other things as well. These are just two examples of the many initiatives at I Am Gold. Ross says they need all 4,000 of their employees to embrace the zero harm vision for it to become a success. It looks like it's working. You know, when you go to sites, you'll see uh, the logo Zero Harm in your face everywhere we go. So, you know, people don't, don't embrace that and put it on their shirts or put it on the sides of uh, their equipment if they don't really believe in that stuff as well. I Am Gold has implemented its CSR policies using international guidelines such as PDAC's E3+, a framework for responsible exploration that helps exploration companies continuously improve their social, environmental, and health and safety performance. Ross has some sound advice for building a strong CSR program. What's that analogy, uh, you know, to, to consume an elephant, you do it one bite at a time. Um, that's really what, to, what my advice is. Uh, for us, it's really identifying, uh, number one, the risk component of it, and then evolving your priorities based on that, so that you're working on the things that are most important. 
My strategy has been control, control your destiny in this space or others will control it for you. And to me, that's what's been successful for us in moving forward. But we're not staying static. I Am Gold is a superb example of how Canadian exploration and mining companies are doing the right thing wherever they are working.